we are the body of Christ and we're supposed to be a glorious body which means you're going to have to start walking in a glorious body the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Armstrong thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us tonight I want to talk to you about time say time, time. some things just take time and in fact being consistent over time or consistency over time produces all things welcome to planet earth Jesus said the kingdom itself is like a seed mark chapter 4 verse 26 and he this is Jesus and and he said so is the kingdom of God you gonna believe what Jesus said or not I think I will so is the kingdom of God as if a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise night and day what would that be called time yeah. sleeping and rising what happens what goes on when you sleep and you rise and you sleep and you rise and you sleep and you rise time passes, time passes right should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knows not how you don't have to know how verse 28 for the for the earth brings forth fruit of herself first the blade then the ear then after that the full corn in the ear but when the fruit is brought forth immediately he puts in the sickle because the harvest is come did the harvest come as soon as he put the seed in the ground no no there's seed time and then harvest mm -hmm. seed time and harvest so time occupies the most of the time doesn't it yes and seeds are miraculous but they take time is this too difficult no. mark chapter 4 verse 14 says the sower sows the what the word so in the kingdom of God you got to get this in the kingdom of God the seed is the word and the sowing of the word is what saying the word yes. the sowing is saying the word say the sowing, the sowing. is saying Say. the word because the, the word is the seeds you have to sow the word which is by saying it mm -hmm. and then it takes time before the harvest comes mm -hmm. get this straight because people don't get it straight they want everything just like that mm -hmm. don't they I do but you have to be consistent in what you say over a period of time to get the kingdom of God to work for you there's a bigger mouthful than most people wanted to hear mm -hmm. that seeds are miraculous they take time the sower sows the word by saying mm -hmm. it says if a man should cast seed into the ground who's the man that cast the seed into the ground use the man that cast seed into the ground Wh whose ground your own ground mm -hmm. it's your farm it's your field and what will this kingdom produce it'll produce all things mm -hmm. all things that are said yeah. all the promises that are said say that are said, that are said. it will produce is youth renewal one of those things yeah youth renewal is one of the things the kingdom of God will produce for you we have promises concerning it and I've preached many messages on the promise of youth renewal mm -hmm. you have to have it working for you if you want to write something down write this down youth renewal takes time seems like an oxymoron doesn't it youth renewal takes time say youth renewal, youth renewal takes time isn't that funny because you would think oh, you know you want your youth renewed yes you want your youth renewed yesterday mm -hmm. 
but it takes time to get your youth renewed well and it seems like oh i'm getting older while my youth is getting renewed but it's true mm -hmm. it takes time but you got to be consistent just like all the things of the kingdom of god mm -hmm. and people would say oh i don't have time yes you do so there's a time loop here when god begins to renew your youth i hope you're hearing this there's a time loop say time loop, time loop. as god begins to renew your youth and it's as much time as you need say as much time as you need as much time as you need now the devil you've heard of him right mm -hmm. the devil is always anxious he's always hurry hurry be in a hurry hurry up mm -hmm. you're running out of time am i right you mm -hmm. hurry up you're running out of time hurry up hurry up no he's running out of time but that's not the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is trust and believe and relax and rest are you here now Jesus said to what for the promise wait for the promise isn't that interesting did Jesus say hurry up go in a panic and run around the world and preach the gospel because the end is coming ah is that what he said no he said wait for the promise it's the first thing he said about the promise and who's the promise the holy ghost, the holy ghost is the promise very interesting jesus said wait for the promise did everyone wait for the promise no a majority of them didn't wait for the promise and they ran off without the holy ghost and ended up messing up your theology right. and it's been over two thousand years that we've been trying to straighten it out god is a creator and god creates time for you when there was none before he creates it for you there wasn't any now there is say there wasn't any, there wasn't any. Now, there now there is all the time you need to fulfill what you need to fulfill Amen. especially if you are a Holy Ghost worshiper time is created when you worship him and believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of you this okay so far mm -hmm. it should be one of those messages that makes you go oh i've got time mm -hmm. i've got time he's going to create time for me that i can walk out what i need to walk out you're not oh i'm not in a panic yeah hurry up <laughs> you got to get it done yeah. what you've done in the past doesn't matter it's only what you do next what you've done in the past doesn't matter only what you do next if you're a holy ghost worshiper what are you going to do next you're to worship him and speak in agreement with his word malachi chapter 3 verse 16 then they that feared the lord and we know here that fearing the lord often is translated worships the lord right mm -hmm. they that feared the lord what spake often one to another does that sound right mm -hmm. they're worshiping god and they're speaking often and the lord hearkened and heard it is this any good well Holy Ghost worshipers fear the Lord and speak often so they're fearing the Lord worshiping the Lord God the Holy Ghost speaking in agreement with his word and hastening the return of Jesus Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26 that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word what are we talking about the church that he might present it to himself a glorious church 
say a glorious church. A glorious church. What's a glorious church? One that is not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. What are, what are wrinkles? It's something people get when they get older. It's a sign. Listen, it's a sign of old age. How about spots? Is that such a thing that is a sign of old age? You get spots, age spots, they call them, I believe. Mm -hmm. Right? Age spots, age wrinkles, or any such thing. What would the such thing be? Any such thing that has to do with age. Because Jesus isn't coming back for a bride, an old bride. Are you here? Mm -hmm. Is this too difficult to understand? No glorious church say glorious church. glorious church he's describing a glorious church that has youth renewal working in it i literally am not stretching the scripture to say that he's returning for a church that is walking in youth renewal say jesus, jesus is, returning is returning for a church, for a church. that's walking in youth renewal how much of the church is walking in youth renewal right now very few mm -hmm. he calls this a glorious church or a glorious body of Christ say a glorious body, a glorious body. who is the body of Christ we are the body of Christ and we're supposed to be a glorious body of Christ which means you're going to have to start walking in a glorious body are you here mm -hmm. say a glorious body. glorious body what would a glorious body be one that's healed one that's walking in youth renewal and one that's walking in glory yeah. I'm trying to take you up from one glory to the next to the next we go from glory to glory to glory right we go from healed which is a glory to youth renewal which is another glory to a glorious body say a glorious body. glorious body I mean come on if you're believing for healing and we have mm -hmm. and we start believing for youth renewal and we have and are you can only get so young eventually you have to be walking in another level of glory which is a glorious body which is the one that Jesus is returning for are you here yeah. he's not gonna return until you get it straight this should be good news mm -hmm. what are you getting all mad at me for I preach healing I'm preaching youth renewal and I'm preaching a glorious body all of which you can walk in and have is healing available yes. should you be walking in it yes if you want to please God it's available he made it available walking in it pleases God is youth renewal available yes should be should you be walking in it yes, yes. and that pleases God is a glorified body available it seems to be and I have more scriptures to go on here it seems to be should you be walking in it yes especially in this last day church is this fun yet second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is there is Liberty meaning you will find a kind of Liberty with the Spirit Lord that you can't find anywhere else it won't be found anywhere else verse 18 but we all that have found this Liberty with the Spirit Lord with open face beholding as in a mirror mm -hmm. the glory say we behold the glory. we behold the glory we're beholding the glory and are changed into the same image if we're beholding the glory and we're changed into the same image what are we be what are we being changed into glory from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit Lord by the operation of the Spirit being Lord we're changed from one glory to another glory being healed is a glory can you give me that yes. youth renewal 
is another glory but like I said you can only get so young can't you <laughs> youth renewal gone critical is glory there's only one place to go did you hear that mm -hmm. youth renewal gone critical is glory you've gone from one glory to another glory you can't do that the naysayers say what do the naysayers always say you can't nay is what they say they're literally naysayers mm -hmm. you can't do that but the Bible says all promises all the promises all the pro say all the, promises all the promises are yes and amen that's second corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. they say you can't do that but what if you do what if you do get healed what if you get your youth renewed they say you can't do it what if you start walking in glory and have a glorified body what if you do what are they going to say they said the same thing about healing you can't get healed they said the same thing about prosperity God won't prosper you they said the same thing about youth renewal but when you start walking in it it doesn't matter what they say and they'll say the same thing about having a glorified body but now you've proved those other things you've proved that God heals you you've proved that God will renew your youth you've proved that god prospers his people you now go here glorified body when i say glorified body what body are you in you're in a body what no you not your body is the temple of the holy ghost why is it so strange that you could say you could go to a glorified body well, no one's ever done it before so what also not true mm -hmm. we have examples in the scripture many have believed for healing and that's good that's one level of glory and I've said it for years now sometimes you don't need healing you need your youth renewed in that specific area of your body and if your youth gets renewed the sickness is just taken care of because that infirmity came on you because of what old age mm -hmm. so you have healing and then you have youth renewal and then you have a glorified body mm -hmm. we go from glory to glory I'm talking about your body mm -hmm. how are you giving me an attitude over this we're talking about your body going from glory to glory where will it have to end up mm -hmm. glory so what about skipping steps I don't mean skipping I mean skipping steps believing for youth renewal in place of healing is just skipping a step it takes care of the lower step listen mm -hmm. it takes care of the lower step you believe for youth renewal and the sickness that was on the lower step what you might have needed healing for mm -hmm. just gets taken care of and even the most basic of believers thinks that this is exactly what happens when they die and go to heaven they skipped all the steps mm -hmm. right they went from a sick body and a lame body to a healed body and a youth renewed body and a glorified body they just got it all at once and didn't have to believe God for anything while they were on the earth isn't that amazing they skipped all the steps but they also died <laughs> you miss so much when you put everything off till heaven isn't that true yes but that's a religious scapegoat it's a religious excuse and it doesn't please God this pleases God you know there's verses of scripture that say how can I believe without preacher well if this isn't preached how can someone believe for it they're not being exposed to the right thing they're not being exposed to the next glory how can they go there 
no oh, i never heard anything like this before no kidding that's why you didn't go here mm -hmm. but now you have and now you can this is where i'm going hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 talking about pleasing god but without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to god must believe that he is you must believe say must believe. must believe and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him Amen. he is a rewarder of you when you dil diligently seek him by faith and believing mm -hmm. by faith and belief so this pleases God that was my point Abraham believed God remember this and it was accounted to him for righteousness Romans chapter 4 verse 16 therefore it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed not only that which is of the law but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham say the faith of Abraham, faith of Abraham. who is the father of us all as it is written I have made thee the father of many nations before him or like him whom he believed so God said something and it is written and then Abraham believed the thing that was said mm -hmm. right whom he believed even God who quickens the dead mm -hmm. God who quickens the dead was Abraham dead when he was believing God so this couldn't mean that he was believing God to quicken his own dead body because he would already be dead no. it means a body subject to death meaning it was aged mm -hmm. like a like a fine old cheese <laughs> whom he believed even God who quickens the dead and calls those things which be not as though they were god was calling him the father of many nations he was too old to have kids sarah was way too old to have children he was in her 80s he was 90. Mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. i'll just keep reading who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall thy seed be and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now what dead they're using the same word it literally just means a mortal body not actually dead but as good as dead mm -hmm. when he was about a hundred years old neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb verse 20 he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able to perform verse 22 and therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness verse 23 now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him but for us also what happened to abraham he believed god and had his youth renewed what happened to sarah she believed god and had her youth renewed it was imputed to them as righteousness but not for them only but for us also say for us also, for us also. he's the father of our faith if you are believing god for youth renewal you are right in line with the father of your faith if you're not you're out of line my point here the miracle here was youth renewal can you see that mm -hmm. the miracle was youth renewal say it the miracle, the miracle. Was, youth was youth renewal not just for abraham but also for sarah mm -hmm. and, for us. and for us because it wasn't just for him but it's imputed to us when we are in righteousness the righteousness of faith speaks Abraham said the same thing God said God said one thing about Abraham and Abraham 
changed his name and started saying the same thing about himself that is the righteousness of faith the righteousness of faith speaks what saith it the word so when you speak notice I said when you speak they that feared the Lord spoke often when you speak often let that word you're saying be a mirror of the glory of God like you looking in the mirror so when I say by Jesus stripes I was healed what am I looking at the glory of me being healed mm -hmm. when I say that my youth is renewed what am I seeing in that mirror my youth renewed when I'm changed from glory to glory what am, remember because we're looking in the mirror beholding the glory what are we changed into mm -hmm. a glorious body my body is being changed to a glorious body yeah when you die and go to heaven no no now when you speak let that word be a mirror of glory see yourself in it and be changed by it Psalms 107 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions is that what your Bible says mm -hmm. he sent his what his word he sent his word by saying it and the said word healed them and the said word delivered them from their destructions mm -hmm. his said word healed me his said word delivered me when I'm saying that word I'm saying the word let that word be a mirror of the glory of God that you're seeing yourself in and be changed by it he healed me he delivered me from my destructions what are your destructions well they may be many but I can tell you one of them old age mm -hmm. old age is the destroyer of many is it not yeah. mm -hmm. because with old age comes many other things you can say it's the destroyer of everyone are you here yes. is it one of your destructions it is. then you're delivered from it is it too far of a stretch to say old age is a destruction that destroys people no then you are delivered from it Amen. can you see yourself there yes. you can't see it unless you say it and when you say it you begin to see it so many times I'll be saying things and if people have just not said it enough to be able to see it yet well, when you say it enough you begin to see it and you go from one glory that you see to another glory that you see how do you think I got here with this message we go from healing which is one glory to youth renewal which is another glory mm -hmm. to glory which is another glory is glory another glory and Jesus returns for a, Glorious. his glorious body of Christ mm -hmm. you got it so he's healing me and delivering me from my destructions your destruction one of which is old age it destroys your mortal body a mortal body is one that's subject to death mm -hmm. the word says the spirit quickens your mortal body if he's quickening what is quickening me making alive he's making alive the body that's subject to death that would be renewing the youth of yeah. is this something God does yes. yes and if you worship him enough you begin to know it Romans chapter 8 verse 11 but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you who is that holy the Holy Ghost he the Holy Ghost that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body not dead body mortal body it's a different word it's a different Greek word altogether one is alive but subject to death the other one's well just dead this is the live subject to death if he's quickening a mortal body he's making it alive which means he's 
healing it renewing his youth and glorifying it who does this the Holy Ghost he turns back time in your physical body just like Abraham the father of your faith Abraham and Sarah ran out of time didn't they if it wasn't for God they had already gone way way past they'd already way past run out of time mm -hmm. what God do he created more time for them rewound it back mm -hmm. God created some time for them as much as they needed and he'll do it for you too Adam and Eve had glorified bodies can you understand that and they fell from grace well we've been reintroduced to grace full circle Genesis chapter 3 and verse 23 says therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken verse 24 so he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life if we weren't supposed to go back there why would he place angels there and a flaming sword to keep the way right. we are supposed to go back there right. and what was back there on the other side of that glorified bodies mm -hmm. we go from glory to glory we go from glory to glory are you getting this mm -hmm. to a glorious church without spot or wrinkle yeah. say without spot, without spot. Or, wrinkle. or wrinkle or any such thing or any such thing he didn't have to say all of that why do you have to say all of that get his point across mm -hmm. well I am personally believing for perfect healing and perfect health which necessitates youth renewal and glory are you here yes. not because I'm anyone special but because I am willing to believe what he has said and I am willing to work it and be changed by it mm -hmm. from one glory to another glory to a glorified body I am changed from glory to glory mm -hmm. what if healing health and youth renewal is nothing like you thought it was now be careful here because we all think we know pretty much everything <laughs> how stupid of us <laughs> what if healing health and youth renewal is nothing like you thought it was it's possible right what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. glorify God in your body a glorious body is one that becomes transparent for what you say so that you can see him mm -hmm. him shining out his glory shall be seen transparent means light shines through it you're designed for this I don't know if I've done that illustration before but if you take a if you take a flashlight you ever done this take a flashlight especially a, a high-powered one put it on the back of your hand what do you see through your hand light shines through it you're designed to be a light being and to have light shining out of you yes a glorified body listen a glorified body is a transparent body with the glory of God shining out of it you could say it's a type of light therapy for in a glorified body it's his light that shall be seen mm -hmm. it's his glory Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people mm -hmm. but the Lord himself 
shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee and the Gentiles will come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising Holy Ghost I thank you for changing people as they've heard your word this evening and the glory shall begin to rise up within you and rest upon you and change you in a manner of light therapy where healing shall be yours where youth renewal shall be yours and all of these things will enable you to skip ahead and to become that glorious body of Christ that you were always called to be we shall walk in it and we shall see it in our day in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship God. you you are the Spirit Lord and as I walk with you I go from one glory to another glory and some of this glory is financial and it shall be seen in Jesus name Amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God and